The Dell Precision 5820 is a server-grade workstation. It has all the parts you may ever need in the front and on the back of the case. They even included the good old PS2 ports. The chassis can be easily opened. Inside, there are many slots and ports which you can fill and plug. The CPU cooling has an industrial look and the top plastic shroud can be removed without tools. It looks like they borrowed this power supply from the server's world as well. It's cool to pull it in and out, but in real world, I hope you will never need to do this. Interesting, huh? Behind the front panel, there are four removable drives just like an enterprise server. But who needs to swap their drives all the time? Why not just get the one big drive and leave it to be? In the second box, we get very basic wired keyboard and mouse, power cord and the heap of papers. I noticed that it takes a very long time from when I turn this on and until an image appears on the monitor. Sometimes it can confuse you and make you think you didn't press well enough or something is wrong. My setup includes 32GB of standard DDR4 RAM, 10th generation Intel Core i9 and Nvidia Quadra P2200, pretty modest I would say. According to CPU Z benchmark score, this i9 CPU outperforms any i7 or third generation Ryzen but scores much lower than any AMD Threadripper competition. <music> Dell BIOS is very nicely clear, without any fancy animations and to the point. This BIOS is the most comprehensive and feature rich I've seen on a Dell computer before. Here's a quick tip. If you want to enable hot swap Intel VMD technology, you should do it before installing the operation system or you will mess up your boot. Overall, this is an impressive tower with a lot of expandability options, but it's only cost effective if you pack it with a lot of fancy hardware. If you are a simple user, this is a total overkill. Stay in school.